Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ruled Waves as Japan, episode number 21. So I think we're doing pretty well in this series so far, like if we want to take stock of the situation. We have elevated our budget um, a fair amount. Italy was never going to be a challenge, but we have surpassed Russia and France, and uh, that's, that's already saying something. Um, next, we're really knocking on the door of Germany, which I don't think we're going to be able to do anything more to Germany directly, considering we've basically taken all of their Asian holdings, um, all four colonies in one fell swoop. So really all that remains for us, and especially because it's getting a little bit later in the series, I think all that remains for us is to try to tackle Great Britain and the United States. But I have to mention, I wouldn't mind at all a war with Russia in the middle there, <laughs> just because they do still hold some fairly interesting provinces or colonies. Specifically, Sakhalin, Kamchatka, and uh, Liaotung, the Liaotung Peninsula. If I could secure these, we'd really be sitting well in um, Northeast Asia. I'd also like to get Korea, but that's just, we need some random events to fire for that, so it's kind of outside of my control. Um, okay, so that said, I did a little bit of ship moving off camera. I did some ship renaming, so all the new destroyers have now been named. And we do have another ship design coming up soon, but so right now we are sitting at 14 inch guns, quality zero, 15 inch quality negative one. I do have naval guns on very high priority and I actually have only four other things on high priority just to make these even higher of a priority. <laughs> Unfortunately, we still haven't gotten the guns we wanted and other nations haven't sold them to us. Um, the, but we're, we're sitting at a perfect spot for, um, it's really an ideal time to build a new ship class though, because even with very low tensions, so essentially at the lowest point in our budget, we're still making 5 million a turn a month. So that really is kind of spells that it's time to build uh, a ship. And I think our fleet, if we look at the, just the fleet layout, not just the budget, our fleet kind of screams for new ships. Dreadnoughts were doing okay, right? Six, eight, three, three, seven, two. We're sitting uh, pr pretty, I would say. Like, even compare us to the United States, and we're doing really well. Six for seven, which is extremely unusual. Now, mind you, their seven are two hundred four thousand, which average slightly higher um, per ship than my one hundred fifty nine. Obviously, I know mine are going to be exactly twenty six thousand per, but uh, this is almost. 30,000 per, if it, I mean, if this was 210 instead of being 204, it would be uh, 30, so it's, it's basically like 29 per, slightly over that. And when you add in the three additional ships, uh, which are about 40,000 a piece, the United States becomes a little bit more threatening. Nonetheless, I mean, I think that we're sitting even with everyone except for Great Britain, and Great Britain is really gonna be challenging though because their rebuilt ships are all good because we sank all their old ones, right? So now they have, okay, so they do have a few old dreadnoughts, but they don't have any old battle cruisers. Oh, I guess a few survivors. You know, their battle, cru their battle cruiser allotment isn't that great. I kind of spoke before looking there. But battle cruisers, I think that battle cruisers is where we could really win something back. Um, we have two, and this is the lowest number except for Italy, but we don't want to compare ourselves with Italy. I mean, we can say that we have, we're on par with a lot of great nations in Dreadnoughts, but we really can't say the same thing in Battlecruisers. And I'm actually surprised to see even the United States with still nine armored cruisers in play. I think that maybe this has gone up with patches. Um, perhaps the game development has pushed a little bit more towards armored cruisers. I've already mentioned that I would love to build one, but it's going to be difficult. I'm going to keep that in back of my mind always, that if we have a chance to build armor cruisers, we should. And the interesting discussion which has been pointed out is the light cruisers other nations are building, we can't match it with a light cruiser. By the way, um, it was finally solved, the 7-inch dilemma. Just in the most recent patch, that was finally um, knocked off as a possibility. So it's no longer possible to build 7-inch guns on the light cruisers because of patch 1.34 beta 1. So that, that kind of solves the mystery behind that. But I think that that points towards the, if we were to build this eight inch gun armored cruiser, 
we really could treat it as a heavy light cruiser. Um, it would have to be really fast, really, really, really fast. I would even sacrifice torpedo defense, but let's just kind of put together what this ship might look like. If we wanted not something heavy, even like having the two um, guns, uh, maybe even just having three double turrets of eight inch guns might be sufficient. We have quad, we have four double turrets right now. We might not even want that many. So, by the way, okay, so let's produce yeah, less torpedo protection. I think that's fine. We're really going to want this thing to be, I don't want to go to speed because that means it'll be lost easier uh, to like scuttling or whatnot in foreign waters. But we really need the speed to get up way, way up. And I'm going to try to shoot for 32. Is that possible? Good God, it's <laughs> going to be difficult. So 14,000 even as she is right now. And we need to make some adjustments here. Oh, we can actually drop this down, though. So that's a little bit helpful. But I also want torpedoes, so yeah, well. The ebb and flow of the ship design process. Let's still try to get this. You know what? This is looking possible. Okay, let's also get rid of the aft superimposed and put instead the aft centerline superimposed. Okay, let's... Is that a line? I'm going to hope that it's this one. Damn it. Which one are you? Uh, oh, good, we got it. Okay, good. So let's just put a line doodle back. What was it? Is it here? The conning tower. Something like this. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody will know. Just distract people with a third funnel. Aha! That funnel is oddly asymmetric. Okay, it looks good enough. All right, so now what we're looking at is actually a really reasonable ship. I'm almost talking myself into building this. What would it take for it to get up to 33? Something impossible. <laughs> a Herculean effort just beyond our, our capabilities right now. But everything else about this, I, you know what? I have to say I like. It's not a ship that's going to fight at range very often. We might even just drop this down to two. Uh, it definitely needs more ammunition. So... I'm going to keep the turret top at 2.5, though, even if it means only keeping this at 145. I think that's fine for 8-inch guns. Yeah, I think I've talked myself into it. Um, the niche in. No, I like the Miyoko better. Come on, Miyoko. Oh, I would have liked that one too. Oh, okay, fine. You, the Yakumo. The Yakumo class armored cruiser, a return. Ah, uh, you know, it just, it pains me not to get triple on the front though. <laughs> it just pains me. And I think I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of money for that. I like having those five guns on the front. This is an attacking cruiser. It's going to be chasing down light cruisers, hopefully, and definitely running away from battle cruisers. Note that our battle cruiser, but I mean, be running when we are running away from battle cruisers, we do not care if our guns are hitting or not because it's just impossible. Oh damn it! I just hate having an odd number or a half number of double turrets. I really hate that. Okay, dump, jump us up one more. 14,000. I just hate it. Okay, because it's technically this is uh, having 14 means it's 7 per side, and in double turrets, that means you have 3.5 double turrets. Doesn't really make sense. So I prefer to have an even number. Just a, just a minor comment about that. Okay, so I think that's everything. We have less per torpedo protection. God, how much would it cost? Oh my. Okay, we're at, note that interestingly enough, the torpedo defense itself doesn't increase the cost at all. Well. Okay, this is now a ship which can take a, a heavy blow from torpedoes and keep on ticking. In fact, 
These are at 18 per. We could add one more tube to each side. Let's go ahead and add it to the middle. And voila, which is beautiful because that's right where we don't have any turrets. So it makes the sense. It makes the most sense to have the quad turrets. You know what? I'm I'm gonna do this. Welcome, one and all, the Yakumo armored cruiser. We would actually not call her that. We are gonna designate her the first quote unquote heavy cruiser in development. Okay, I'm not sure if she's actually is. We don't. I haven't gone through all the other list <laughs> of ships, but we're gonna save this. 65 and so oh, wow. So basically 66 million when it's all said and done, but let's go to the build thing. But let me just see, are we, is this actually the first armored cruiser? Sorry, a heavy cruiser. Let's take a look at other armored, other CAs. These are 15,000 speed nine. Yeah, this is probably a, already a true armored or a true heavy cruiser, which you would expect from the, <laughs> from the Germans after their defeat. Where the heavy cruiser comes from, I guess it's not, I haven't well researched it, but I, I speculate at least that it's from the Washington Naval Treaty. There's some people who pointed out some counterexamples, like some that already existed before that, but I think the emphasis on heavy cruisers, instead of just being heavy light cruisers, but like a whole class to itself, was probably a result of the uh, Washington Naval Treaty. Uh, what do we have here? We do have another... Yeah, we could probably call it that. And by the way, our heavy cruiser would have kind of a tough time taking this down. Eight and a half gym belt, my god. Yeah, we would have to run away from that. That's really unfortunate. We didn't even make a, an armored cruiser which is capable of killing other armored cruisers. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's just build a few of them for fun. I know a lot of people have been asking for armored cruisers, so let's try to get four. And that's, uh, that's just going to have to do it for now until we get better guns for our battle cruisers, which is probably still the next thing we're going to build. Okay, wow, of course, weight savings on armor only happens right after you build a ship. Okay, well, I'm not really going to pay much attention to these things. The new Dreadnought, or Riscani, 16-inch guns, 8 of them, good armor, decent. Okay, I, I, you've been saying you're well on your way to understanding that, but just understand it or not already. Okay, I got it. Okay, reduce penalty for more than one ship firing at the same target. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll sell it to the US, even though we probably will be fighting them soon. It's still three and a half million. I, yeah, I'll take it. Anything for money but don't quote me on that. Oh yeah, French, yeah, take take whatever. <laughs> take whatever you want. Machinery reduction, that's also appropriate after you design a ship. Not sure what the Italians are thinking of with that. Um, we have more ships in Southeast Asia than we can support. That is a message I can read, okay. <laughs> we will have to take action about this. Well, the Chiotas. It's time to gather them up for one final ceremony, and then they're to be turned into uh, tomorrow's dining room iron plates. I guess that's probably not a good, <laughs> good example. But yeah, it's time for the Chiodas to... Uh, they've, they've served well, and there's only a few survivors, the Wiabu, the Akimo Sensei, and the Emery. Very few survivors of the Chiodas. They were just brutalized in the last war. Um, and we'd expect that that was, is how it'll go indefinitely. Actually, you know what? Because um, we have such a long wait for ships, I might not scrap these. They don't, they're really quite cheap. Um, what I'll do is I will only leave them raiding in Southeast Asia from here on, here on in. So let me, or even just like some other vacant, vacant um, sea zone like South Pacific. So let me put them onto reserve fleet, which is, oh. Okay, they're not in home area. Well, fine. Just go into Southeast Asia and sit there. You're so cheap as it is. It doesn't even matter if it's if it's just a... This 4.6 negative would change to 4.4 negative. It's pretty minor. Make him a hero. We, won't, we will not mind going to war with the British. And I didn't solve our problem with too many ships in Southeast Asia. Let's get the Izumi to move back, I think.
Oh, no, not wrong north. Let's see if this works. By all means, four million more. Um, yeah, by all means, just sell everything to everyone. Okay, we still have too many ships in Northeast Asia. Wait, I couldn't have, that was Southeast Asia, right? Yeah, Southeast Asia. These two armored cruisers, veterans though they are, these are actually using nine inch guns too, which is funny. Um, let's put our battle cruisers into North East Asia, I think. Okay, <laughs> finally superimposed B mounts on the light cruisers. This is what kept me from building a light cruiser for so long. And we still have too many ships in Southeast Asia, my goodness. Well, let's pull these guys out, let's move them home, and then we can scrap them, or I don't know. I really don't know what we should do with them. Probably we should scrap them, yeah. Huh, Great Britain has commissioned the Dreadnought Hood. Hmm. Ah, oh, they're only 83. Actually, we do need to get these into Northeast Asia because uh, it's there's a large savings if they're there. Just leave enough ships so that, um, yeah, we can support it. Mine laying submarine. Okay, fine. Hmm. Actually, that reminds me. People also talked, they encouraged me to build submarines. Uh, I know that submarines are, they are extremely potent. Don't get me wrong. I've mentioned it a few times that I don't build them because it's not really fun. They're strategically very effective. However, when you want to play with submarines, you have to go big or go home. Having like, let's say, let's for example, let's just say you have 20 to 30 submarines. Um, in a war, you're going to have a, uh, maybe on average like three submarines sunk per turn, which means that you become basically ineffective with your submarines after like five turns. <clears throat> so all the money you sank into them for 30 submarines is just useless. Now, if you have 60 you can survive a whole war with a lot of submarines um, constantly doing damage. You can just win the war out, outright with 60 subs. Right? And more is better, of course. However, I'm just saying that when you have a few submarines, they still get picked off, and that means your numbers are brought down to insignificant numbers way too quickly. So that's why I don't build just a few submarines, if you're wondering. Okay, that little tidbit aside. Major arm firm wants to sell ships to a South American country. Risks leaking sensitive. Well, who cares? Okay, Italian research in submarines has been helped by technology leaks from our industry. Well, it couldn't have been anything better. I, I absolutely don't mind. Our submarine technology is pretty backwards. It's probably the mine laying ones, actually. So, okay, anything interesting? Private economy has gotten us up to 49,000. That's much more than we need. Oh, good. More tension with Great Britain. How we doing? Yeah, I think we're okay. I've seen a lot of ships being built. How are we doing here? We really need more battle cruisers, but now it's time for build uh, another another light cruiser class. I don't have the budget for it quite yet. I think as soon as these ships are finishing. Um, how much longer do we have? Another eight months. Yeah, we can't stomach that quite yet. Okay. Better oblique um, penetration is, all, is always good. Okay, they wanna give us quality one nine inch guns. Again, I'm not sure how the gun quality increase works for our own research. So I do this just to avoid this being something that we get picked as our own research. Maybe this will encourage higher gun caliber research. I don't know. But anyways, it's only five and a half million. I mean, that's actually quite a lot, but <laughs> we don't have any ships that really have that. Oh, looks like it's time to, we also definitely have to refit a lot of ships. Let's see, it's 1928. All right, let's try to do some refits really fast here. We definitely need to get these. You still have not got better? Nope. Okay. 1540, is that... 
Yeah, okay, it didn't change, okay. I, I get a little nervous that changing this back and forth was still uh, changed the cost. Well, we can go to improved director, and I guess for whatever reason it doesn't, can we, by the way, switch? We could switch to oil, it should save us. My God, quite, kind of a lot. Huh, interesting. Okay, this is now a rebuild cost of 10 months, 3 million. It's pretty expensive, I don't think we'll do that. It's for two knots, it's probably not worth it. Remember, 10 months at 3 million versus... Four months it's at less than a million. That's This is like a no-brainer, I think. For two knots, that's not worth it. If it was something where I could actually put torpedo defense on, I would consider it because that's the one thing this ship is definitely lacking is torpedo. Oh, torpedo protection, but... Well, with 27, I guess eh, these submerged ones are not great. But whatever, let's just keep this very simple. This is still fine. Yeah, let's just save and go. It's not... That ship class was never meant to to take on other battle cruisers. Rem remember we even designed it just to take on armored cruisers, etc. All right, this is 1923, that can wait a moment. 1925, these ships, I guess we'll just scrap them. Why not? Okay, I wanna do a final salute for the Chiodas who have served us so well. Remember, they're not the only ones who are here from the Legacy fleet, the Azumi is as well. But, you know, I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> I just can't, it's only saving 240,000, I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> They've been along for too long. That I think I'm gonna send them raiding into weird spots, but they won't. we won't send them raiding into like the Europe anymore. They'll just stay raiding locally. Okay. Other ship redesigns, 1923. This is uh, the Takachio. Damn it, we still don't have the quality one <laughs> guns that I want. We do have improved director. Really, that's all we can do with this. It's still a really good ship. 30 mines, it's got the seven six inch gun broadside. It's fantastic, 28. No complaints about this thing. And this is, I think, a pretty cheap rebuild. Yeah, three months at 500,000, that's perfect. Get, we'll take all those guys. We still have two armored cruisers. I hope that's enough. Maybe get, um, I don't know. How many do we have here? Just get two of these to move to Southeast Asia. They're pretty cheap. Cause I think we're going to need to put these guys in for a refit soon. Actually the Mikasa's, their refit is going to be just throw a coat of paint on. We're not going to do anything fancy with that. Um, the Honoka needs to be refit, so let's do this as well. Basically the same thing. Save 27 on this. Yep, rebuild these as well. Okay, 7 million, we'll just hang out with that for a little bit. I feel like this episode's going uh, slowly. It's been 20, it's only been 24 minutes. I thought, I feel like it's already been over 40 or over 30. Yeah, we'll sell everything. Okay, better torpedoes, anti-submarine warfare, things we don't really, well, torpedoes are nice, but anti-submarine warfare I don't really care too much about. Interesting, some of these. So do we do this refit? It's 894 to 2022. This is, I think, worth it. This is cheap. Even that is really cheap. Well, I guess it's rather difficult to get more speed. Yeah, they're just, they're too darn slow, man. It's not worth putting better guns on them because they're just too darn slow. They're not effective. 
I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I can just imagine everyone petitioning. You know, you get the sense, the real sense of being an admiral. <laughs> when you when you leave the YouTube comments on and uh, you treat them as... Because a lot of them are very mature and like are role-played letters and all that. When I get those letters, I actually want to acknowledge them. Just the same way I imagine a real... A rear, a real admiral would uh, get requests and he has to turn them down. So, we gotta be more cold hearted, just like a real admiral would be. Do you think Halsey would, would like keep these guys around? No. Okay, this is the new light cruiser. They actually. Apparently don't have light cruiser B turret configuration either. <laughs> Poor buggers. Was that the first of our? Oh, good. They and I haven't um, named these, but I know Guardsman Gary's been waiting a long time for his. So he was the third name even submitted. So congratulations, Guardsman Gary. You finally have your ship. And I'll get the rest uh, finished up off camera. So, good. <laughs> oh, actually, Jamie Billington has also been a long time waiting for the Isoroku. Isoroku. So we'll get that one as well. Very good. So we got those two named. I'll put those in. And what else? Still, now we're positive, so... Retrofits should be done. Twenty-three. Nah, you know what? Nineteen twenty-three. It's only been five years. We'll wait on everything else. We can just build a new ship instead. Okay, that's a little bit more fearsome. Actually, technically, it's lighter. The other one had eight sixteen-inch guns. Oh, but much lighter armor. My goodness, that's heavy. And yeah, this is not a good ship. Oh yeah, we'll take Torpedo Protection 4. If you're gonna get 3, you might as well get 4. It's very it's very cheap compared to the jump from 2 to 3. Okay, motor, motor torpedo boats, I don't use them. They're just a strategic thing, just like, um, well, like mine laying. And... A shooting competition. Yeah, sure, why not? The Wiabu. Damn it, is that... My Chiyoda class. Damn it, my Chiyoda class got the Elite Award. How did they win the shooting competition? I guess their crews are, like, basically eat, sleep, and breathe the Chiyoda class. They've just been attached for 25 years. But you could say the same thing about the Izumis. Yeah, I don't really understand how they won. Also, I would have preferred them not to win, of course. Hmm. Tough to say... when I should build my next class. Oh, oh my goodness. We absolutely want to safeguard our interests. Did something happen? Did we take something? I guess not. Interesting. So this is what we might be going up against. We can outrun it. That was always the, the goal. We have more secondaries, but they have eight 10 inch guns and we have 11. I believe, 8-inch guns. But ours are quality 1. You know what? I didn't put enough stock in the fact that ours are quality 1, and if they have quality 0, we actually could take them. But they probably don't, because we have quality 1, so what am I saying? Uh, we'll enlist the help of the Navy League to derail the plans for the palace. No, the Navy does not reduce its finances to build a palace. Come on, Prime Minister. Get your head in the game here. Oh, we've stolen something from the US government and they discovered it, I guess. Well, too bad. All right, I'm gonna keep pushing. All right, quality one, four inch guns. Not really necessary because we even up upgraded our destroyers to five inch guns. Which I think was a pretty awesome thing. I probably should get some more of those destroyers as well. Send a diplomatic note to Italy. 
Yeah, let's just build a few more of those. I really like this, the Algorace class. End game for sure. Although, what was the problem with it? It was like a not slower. I keep having this problem. Yeah, it's... It... All right, shoot. It seems like they've, uh, the designer finally caught on. I mean, the developer, Frederick, finally caught on to people like me upgrading the ship so that we can get rid of the, <laughs> the lost knot. I think it's like permanent to the class now. When you redesign it, it doesn't necessarily go away. In fact, I've ne I have not seen it go away in either 1.33 or in 1.34. So he's onto our game. So this is only a speed of 33, which is not great considering we were trying to make that original. I mean, it's supposed to be 34 and not only that, It's, it almost, we almost made it 35. Just had really bad luck with that. I don't like the fact that, is the Japanese, we don't even have the, um, we don't even have behind shipbuilding or whatever. Oh, we're, I mean, behind, yeah. But we don't have undeveloped shipbuilding. In which case I would, it would be understandable we get things with low knots and all that, but we don't. Huh. Uh, let's raise tension. Yeah, why not? Things are really getting down to it now. So if we're going to build any more of those, we just have to. Because I was kind of contemplating, what if we even built a new? All right. Let's open up. Let's do a quick test. Let's open up the Liaga race as it is right now. Okay, it has two weight remaining. Now let's open it up just open design, which is, if we were to build it today, it would have 32 left over. Which is enough if we make it 1500, which is enough to build it exactly as it is. That's, but with 30, a speed of 35, which would be pretty, a pretty substantial benefit. Let's see the difference in cost. I have to sneeze, hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. 4.9, oh, that's pretty expensive, isn't it? <laughs> Is this ship really only 4.9? No, it's uh, it's 5.2. I'm being lied to. Okay, so 5.2 versus, if we were to build it today, 6.2 but it is a two knot increase and technically the 200 tons of displacement that we gain also is beneficial as like hit points you can kind of think of it that floating the floatage and all that some of that stuff is based on your displacement and we could get another 10 rounds of ammo without any problems how much would it be let's just save this as I think we can just name it the Kamikaze. Is that, for some reason right now, I'm not sure how you spell Kamikaze. Is that how it is? No, I've completely mucked it up. I, I did it wrong again. Kamikaze. Okay, so yeah, let's name it the Kamikaze class because this is what it'll be. The enemy class name, I don't know how to change that. I think that that goes away. What if I close it and reopen it? Okay, let's save it. Okay, now now it's got it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I guess let's go to the build dialog and see how much it would cost to build this thing. It's practically the same ship, but... How much would you cost? That's so worth it. And it's I think it's really worth it to build these new ships. It's only 10% of the cost. I mean, 600, this is just nothing. It's, we're gonna build so many of them. Okay, good, let's do this. And that just used up my, my new build. It's got 11 more. And look at that, we're still sitting pretty. The Kamikaze class. Beautiful. And uh, so again, if you want to throw your ring 
your hat in the ring for a new destroyer, the Kamikaze class. Um, I will accept if you want to change your previous to a destroyer now, just let me know in the comments. Because I, I, I'm really happy with this, and I really hope it actually holds up to its 35 speed. That means that thing can get in and torpedo uh, and get back out, hopefully without being, taking too many losses. But I'm really happy with that ship. Look at we're still actually sitting pretty in terms of budget. We can get a light cruiser going on like as soon as we get some of these uh these only they're only gonna take a year. That means it'll be just in time for our war with Great Britain. Anyway, I'm gonna call this episode to a close here. So, um next episode, hopefully if we don't go to war, we'll get that new light cruiser finally. My plan right now is very simple. I mean I, I already know what I want for the the light cruiser. So what I'll do is I'll just put it in and I'll let you guys marvel at its greatness and then you can leave your constructive criticism, your feedback. So I'm dropping this down to five inch guns because the five inch guns are just good. <laughs> They're just good. We're gonna be penetrating uh, other armor or light cruisers basically at range, uh, almost at our max range. So, you know, at 10,000, we're still penetrating other light cruisers with our five inch guns, which is why I, this ship, especially with the advent of our heavy cruiser, the Yakumo, uh, we don't need this to kill anything better than a light cruiser. So we want it to be fast. We will make it 31, I don't care how. Probably are gonna need to sacrifice. Okay, we don't need those guns. I'll probably just bring this up a bit. My God, that's really expensive, but it's fine. And there we go. So something like this for our um, light cruiser. I won't save this here, and I will we'll give it a little more time, but six torpedoes per side, 12 total, more than our destroyers carry, although not more per side, but um, more total. And it should be an absolute beast in the waves as well. You should be able to take out all the, I'm actually suspecting it can take out those six inch destroy or light cruisers we've been, we've seen a lot of. Although its role at, with the speed of 31, and I would probably do speed, but not medium. So this is not supposed to leave friendly waters. Oh, we do not want cramped, my God. But that will just take this down. Okay, look, we still finagled our way back. I don't really care about mines on this one. This is not gonna be a strategic light cruiser. Like I said, this is gonna be uh, mainly to actually destroy other ships, fleet combat. With especially with torpedoes, obviously it's better to put those in fleet engagements than it is to put them um, one on one, because torpedoes are much more effective if you're firing in, you know, shotgun effect. Shotguns are much more effective against a crowd. <laughs> you're probably going to hit somebody. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap this episode up. So I will not save this, but we'll just recreate it next episode with your, uh, with everyone, anyone's recommendations on what to change. But for now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.